it's time for our next adventure. We should shark. This was a suggestion, and I don't know why all the stupidest movies are shark movies, but here we are once again. Sit back, everyone. It's going to be a wild one. So we're introduced to our first character, the more serious type girl. There is so much time wasted in this movie, it's not even funny. Like, most of the time, you just see people lazing around or talking or playing. And while that's cute, I guess they do it for character building. It doesn't really fit because it just feels like there's so much added time in this movie that really isn't necessary. The movie can be like 40 minutes long or less. No, I will say to give credit to this girl, she is the best actor out of all the people here in this movie. She's about to leave and then she sees a Ouija board just floating up alongside the shore. And what does she decide to do? She decides to take it. Apparently she was supposed to meet up with her other friends. She calls them asking where they are. And when you see where she ends up, it's so far off from where she was. But here they are, ready to start their own adventure. There are four other girls here and she now joins in the fun. Now, the reason why I'm showing that there are five girls in total is because right before stuff starts happening, I'm a bit confused because one girl goes off and we never see her again, or at least for the early portion of the movie, she is, it's like she doesn't exist. It's like everyone totally forgot about her existence. Just to let you guys know, this whole steering contest thing goes on for quite a while. This guy is just washing his little Honda, and she is just staring at him like, I wanna break me off a piece of that ass flesh. Then she asks if he needs help. Of course he's like, Okay. Yeah, and then the stupid cringy music starts playing, and all I can think is, can you imagine if this guy's wife comes out of his house? And she's like, Hero, what the fuck are you doing with this whore? Like, that would be so freaking funny. He's out here having the time of his life with his chick. <laughs> and then you find out that he's actually married, his wife comes out. She... <laughs> That'd be so freaking awkward. He's hiding his left hand too, so it's not like you can even really tell. <laughs> yeah, honey, she just wanted to help me wash my car. <laughs> Totally the sight you'd want to see. <laughs> Freaking relationship's over. Meanwhile, Witchy Girl is having bad dreams, and we know it has to do with the Ouija board that she took from off the beach. I could not eat another bite. They decide to play a game, because whenever somebody picks up a Ouija board, it's always going to get used and some bad shit's going to happen. Everybody keep your fingers on it. Everybody close your eyes and concentrate. <laughs> Understandably, nobody wants to play this game anymore. So the girl who picked up the Ouija board in the first place decides to call her father. I don't know exactly what's going on with him, if he's a Wiccan or something. I don't really understand what his deal is. He seems like a really sweet person, but he is so distracting with how horrible his acting is. No, sweetheart. I'm working late tonight. Is something wrong? I don't know. Maybe I just had a terrible dream. Dreams can be a doorway to the unconscious mind. Yo, what is up with this dude? I mean, it just seems like he's not even really trying. I don't know about you, but it also seems like her dad is high as a kite. <laughs> Whatever's in that cup, he really needs to lay off it for a good minute. Anyway, we have the most awkward couple on the planet taking a leisurely walk. Or at least I think they're a couple. We don't really know because the guy is trying to ask her out and she's like, what do you want to ask me? And it's like, dude, okay. It's really freaking awkward. I'm just hoping it will end and I want to see where it will go. But we never even get anywhere with it because they both see something or at least the guy sees something first. But let's get a little cringe party going on here before we get to that. Uh, are you sure you want to eat now? Wouldn't you rather eat after we swim? I skipped breakfast. It's no big deal. Besides, I'd like to catch some rays. Oh yeah, uh, you should totally do that. I, I mean, we can do whatever you like. Jesus Christ, dude. And what rays are you catching? You're under a canopy and you're completely doused in total shade. What rays are you catching? Is she ill? Anyways, now he tries to pop the question about whether, well, we don't even really know what the hell he's gonna ask her. It's not about prom because they already went to prom together, so I don't really know what the whole point is of these two being out here. They could have easily just been walking before something happened. But of course, we have to issue in the introduction of the monster of the movie. And when you guys see what this monster looks like, whoo, it's gonna give you freaking nightmares and you'll see why. Uh 
Well, I, I wanted to ask you... What the hell is that? You wanted to ask me what the hell is that? What the hell is what? Oh my god! Is that a shark? Or a ghost? Oh my fucking god. Uh, I don't think I can make it through this whole thing. And I haven't. I only watched like a little bit after here before I started making the video. Oh, it's gonna be one of these adventures. It's really hard to sit through. And it gets worse. It's so freaking cringe. <laughs> Okay, so if you have no idea what's happening right now, he's being chased <laughs> by a ghost shark in the woods. Okay. Why people do stuff like I mean, I I I I am I'm really bad at this because I have no idea what to say. Maybe other people write scripts and stuff to know what to say during times like this. I am totally speechless. What do you say? Like, what is there to say? Oh, thank God, it's going after him first. Okay, shark ghost thingy, you already ate. Please. Go away now! Oh my god, dude, stop! And of course, as you can get, she dies, thank goodness. This girl is smoking one up, living it up, and she goes out by herself. She goes by the body of water, which is the pool. Not like it matters. Mm, hey! <laughs> yeah, that's right! <laughs> I'm alone. <laughs> well, there's something you don't see every day. Oh my god. <laughs> this is such a cringy movie. Oh my goodness gracious. I mean, honestly, I think Birdemic and The Amazing Bolt probably are like in the top two, but okay. Ghost Shark was worse. I gotta admit, Ghost Shark was worse. I don't even know right now because they're all kind of melding together in their own little way. The shark comes up to her, but it's like it likes playing with people. It doesn't just go in for the kill. It kind of toys with them a little bit and it makes no freaking sense. Wanna hit? That is so cool. <laughs> oh, are you like some sort of air balloon or something? Is she freaking talking to the show? Okay, I get that we're supposed to believe that she's high. Her behavior is completely explainable. I get it. Why is a shark hovering around her? Why is it hesitating? Why is it... What is its behavior? I suspect you're a figment. Do you think? How about a magic trick? <laughs> it's... It's gone. No blood, no nothing, just teleported to another dimension. God rest your soul. Or maybe not, who the hell knows. When the actors always get together, it's so cringy because you can tell they're reading from some lines. I think this girl right here, who looks like an older version of Sabrina the Teenage Witch, she does a better job with the acting than all of them together. The father, remember he said he was gonna go researching stuff and he finds out that the shark- As a spirit animal, a shark may take on many meanings representing the most primal and ancient instincts. Now there's a reason why I absolutely love his character, because it is the most cringiest character in the entire movie. People walk through the forest all the time and the shark starts attacking people all of a sudden. And every time someone gets attacked, it is so cringy in the way they behave, but nothing is more cringy than the character of the father. Okay, so the girl actually looks scared, but the act of the shark chasing after her in the middle of the woods, for some strange freaking reason, is not as cringy as the scene I'm about to show you. This guy should win an Oscar for how cringy he freaking is. I know I keep saying it and I'm building up to it. Just trust me. It, it, it makes me want to slap my eyes through the back of my head. 
Oh my god, Donna! Kim, no! He goes to a medium to do something so they can conjure the shark, and holy shit. Let me tell you. <laughs> Hold on to your human torso saddles. This is going to be the best part of the movie, and I'm honestly gonna just leave it at that. Hey! Over here! Fresh meat! Why does his face look like that? I mean, you know... I can't say anything! I'm so scared! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you son of a- Oh, so you thought that was bad. But oh no, it gets better! <laughs> it gets so much better than this. This is the highlight of the movie. You know, this, this is one of the movies I think it's so bad. I'm not gonna say that it's good, because it's not. But you get where I'm going with this. this adventure it's a pretty short adventure but we have to end right here because I, I i i feel like i'm going insane maybe the reason why i'm more jovial right now is because i'm actually really tired if you're really interested to see who lives and dies in this movie then uh yeah you just gotta go watch it <laughs> Yes, this is part of the movie. <laughs> I don't know why, but it is. And with this, let's see what happens when he uses a gold training. <laughs> Mystic Shield! <laughs> Fuck this, I'm done. I. This is where I freaking lost it. And this is, mind you, this is near the end of the movie. This is supposed to be the highlight of the movie. Somebody get this dad a freaking medal. He's freaking awesome. Oh my god. Wow. Just wow. 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 Wow! wow. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this adventure... <laughs> I don't even know what to say. But if you... If, ugh, I'm bad at this. You know what? Thank you so much for watching. This is a little scary. There's dog hair in my mouth. Ugh. Yeah. All right, let me let me just end the video. This is enough. I'm I'm I have the patience for this.